what they is for this guy. Here he's got that knuckle thing going on. I'm just fat and bald. <laughs> Jerry, you wouldn't believe it. Last night when I was cooking, I had the most amazing experience. I mean, everything kind of went out of control, and I had to call the fire department, but I found the most brilliant way to shave, and it just makes your skin oh so supple. And so you came up with an idea about cooking and shaving. How can you think about shaving while cooking? That's what I thought, Elaine, and then BAM! Out of nowhere, soil. Not quite shaving cream, not quite oil. What's with everybody in the hair? You're trying to shave it off, and I'm trying to grow some! Soil. Not quite shaving cream, not quite oil. Shaving and cooking. Cooking and shaving. This just might work. Bajin, bajin, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bajin, bajin, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bajin, a bajin, bajin, you never win. A bajin. Real tough out here on the beat. You gotta be working almost 24-7. It's real hard on a chin, you know, we waiting 48-hour shifts. Looking for the bad chins, because you know they're out there. We're always gonna be there to catch them. Yeah, it's tough sometimes, you know, you're out here away from your family, but we're doing good work, you know, we're helping chins out, you know. Sometimes you gotta risk your life to make things, you know, right for other chins in the world. We want world chin peace, so. We're trying to be out here, fighting the good fight, doing as, as good chins do. We're just good citizens. 10.22, we got a female disturbance over in the corner of 5th and May. Two male females fighting. Roger, this is uh, car 29. We're in the area. We're going to go ahead and take care of this one. Uh, we'll report to you once we get out to the scene. What we're going to do is we're just going to go on down here, take a back road around the way because uh, disturbance going on over here. See if we can go on over here because it's disturbing. We've been out to this house before. Uh, these ladies have a real serious problem and uh, we're going to take care of it this time. Probably somebody's going to be going to jail. What's going on here, ladies? Uh, we've had reports from several neighbors tonight that there's been some fighting out here. Uh, can one of you guys shed some uh, light on this situation here? I came through down the trailer and that bitch had my cigarettes. She was smoking my cigarettes and drinking my beer. So I told her she need to get the hell out of here because she hadn't paid no rent in over four months. She got them crackhead boyfriends around here. I always rifling through my stuff. My watch was missing. So I threw her, I grabbed her by her hair and I told her she had to get out. So she punched me in the eye. gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and talk to her, see what her side story is, and uh, as far as I can tell, somebody's going to jail, but uh, I don't know if it's going to be you going to be her, but uh, we'll be right back and we'll talk with you. You just hang tight right here. That little hussy, it's true, I did hit her, but it was only after I found her in bed with my honey, my lover boy, Bob, and, and I called her. Oh, I shouldn't even say it, but I, I called her a bitch. And, yeah, I did call her a bitch. And, and then she grabbed my hair, and, and then I punched her in her eye. Little slut. Well, uh, yeah, I think I got your story straight here. I understand where you're coming from. Uh, what you need to do is just try to stay calm here, and, uh, we'll see what's going on, uh, Seeing that we've been out here before, and you know we've been out here before, and we told y'all last time that we was out here we didn't want to come back, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Let me go talk to my partner. We'll we'll get this thing straight now. You just uh, stay here, hang on tight, and I'll, I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay, well, what I got from my mind over here is uh, she said something about uh, uh, she came out, had her cigarettes, had her beer, and she went over and started giving her some hell, and then... Uh, she reached up, grabbed a hold of her hair, and then that's when she got decked in the eye. So 
Well, it's uh, not looking too different over here on my side. Uh, she's she's already admitted to the assault, so uh, we got at least take care of it. And, and uh, from what you're uh, telling me there, your girl over there is uh, also a uh, part of the party to this whole thing. So uh, I say we just take them both to jail and save ourselves a lot of paperwork here in the future. Uh, it's pretty cut and dry here is what I'm seeing. All right, uh, ladies, uh, ma'am, apartment, uh, my, my partner, we done concurred, and uh, we had a good time doing that, talking about y'all, and uh, it's about the fourth, fifth time this month we come out, so we decided we's done going to take both y'all to jail tonight, just because we can. We're powerful, and we're chins, and we're uh, able to do that in the power authority that we have. So, uh, being that you assaulted her, being she assaulted you, uh, that's a whole lot of salt for one dinner plate, so we're going to be uh, taking y'all downtown. I am not going to jail, you freaking chicks! See what you did, you snitch! No! Now understand, dog, now you need to calm down. Don't make me have to pull off the binaca. Now, this way, come on, girls, let's go. Let's make this easier as we have to be here. It uh, doesn't have to get crazy now. So let's move on in the car and get the soap. Uh, I understand you're upset, but it's not going to change what's going on, so let's just head over here to the car, get in and get this done with the city we can. Come on down. Come on, ladies, it's serious business. We need to get on downtown. It's probably no disturbance going on. Make sure you pick up cleaners from change. work. I told them I'd get them today. I'll see you tomorrow. Just send the mail on down. on location with the Shin City Police Department. I want him dead. All right, Vinny, it's over. Whack him. The way I see it, we need to shave them before they shave us. I heard Judy's on the hit list. You want some soup? We need to whack the whole family. Give me another slice of lasagna. I swear to God, they're gonna end up at the bottom of a lake if it's up to me. Hey, Ma, can you pass me the garlic? I'm hungry. Pass the manicotti and kill him already. This is a Chin and N special report. This just in. We have a compelling video by Osama Chin Laden. I am Osama Chin Laden. I have one demand to the world. I demand peace or I will kill everyone, including this hostage. They just happen to be first. I have many planned suicide shavings going on throughout the world right now, and I demand the international community get together and put their chins together to find a way to give me peace or I will kill everyone. That was disturbing. Disturbing video footage. And now to Connie Chin with her live report from Afghanistan. Connie? Hi, I'm Connie Chin and I'm live from Afghanistan with Cole Chin Powell. Can you tell me your opinion on the assessment of the videotape? Well, Connie, what we're doing to improve the situation really is look at the videotape try to determine exactly who this really is because as you know Chin Laden has a lot of lookalikes and so we're going to do our thorough analysis and then put out our report thereby getting a billion dollar budget. Thank you Connie Chin and Cole Chin Powell and now back to your regular scheduled program. This has been a special report from Chin N.